Hello there, all my K Tech Panthers. Mr. Thule coming back to you again. Uh, we are in our last day of the basketball unit, which means we are kind of taking everything that we've learned and putting it into one final lesson. So boys and girls, we are gonna start our class off like normal. Uh, we're gonna do some stretching, so make sure you're finding some space either uh, standing where you don't bump anything or sitting down where you cannot bump anything. So. We're gonna start with ourselves on the ground for this one, boys and girls. We're just gonna loosen up our arms a little bit and then work our way down to our lower body. So um, let's focus on, let's just take both hands here, reaching way up towards the sky and try and touch your arms to your ears. All right, so my hands go way up, my arms go close to my ears. Now breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and bring those hands down. Uh, we're gonna work on our neck a little bit here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chin and we're gonna touch it to our chest. We're just gonna hold this stretch as we breathe in through our nose and blow the air out your mouth. All right, go ahead and lift that chin up. We're gonna keep moving it all the way until you're looking up at the ceiling, really trying to push the back of your head into your, uh, into your, your back. Breathing in and out. Let's go ahead and take an ear and let's touch it to a shoulder. So I'm gonna turn just a little bit so you can see this one a little better. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tilt my head off to the side so I can get that head as close to my shoulder as I can. If you want to, you can take that hand and help pull a little bit, but don't try to hurt your neck. Again, we're just trying to stretch it. Breathing in and out. What we do to one side, we do to the other boys and girls. So let's take the other ear, touch it to the other shoulder. Breathe in and out. All right, go ahead and let your, let your head come right back up, boys and girls. We're gonna take both our hands we're gonna hold them on top of our head and we're gonna to touch an elbow to a knee. So this is my right elbow, this is my right knee. You guys might see it on your left side. All right, but all we're gonna do is we're just gonna bend, holding both hands on top of our head till that elbow falls down to the knee. Now breathe in through your nose and out your mouth. All right, we do it on one side, we do it to the other. So as you sit up, keep going all the way over to the other side, touching the elbow to the knee, breathing in and out. All right, go ahead and sit up, boys and girls. Your hands, we're gonna to wanna to take one of them and we're gonna to wanna to put it behind our back. All right, so one hand goes on our back, the other hand grabs the elbow and pulls it behind your head. So we're just stretching our shoulder here as we breathe in through our nose and out our mouth. All right, go ahead and release that arm. What we do on one side, we do to the other. So my other arm goes, or my other hand goes behind my back. My opposite hand grabs on the elbow and pulls it behind my head. Breathing in and out. All right, go ahead and release that elbow. Your hands are going to want to fall back in front of you, which they can. 
Um, but we're not going to let them rest for too long because we're going to stretch our shoulder one last time. And how we're going to do it is we're going to take an arm, we're going to reach across our body, and we're going to pull on the elbow. All I want you to do is just pull that elbow close to your chest, breathing in through your nose and out your mouth. What we do on one side, we do to the other. So go ahead and let go of that arm. The arm that was just pulling is gonna reach across your body. The hand that is not doing anything is going to push or pull that arm closer to your body. Breathing in and out. All right, go ahead and let go of that elbow. Let your hands fall back down to your lap. Boys and girls, we're gonna talk about our legs here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stretch both of our legs straight out, and then we're gonna separate those feet. From here, I want you to take both your hands, reaching down one leg as far as they can go. Grab that leg with two hands and pull yourself closer. Feel that stretch from the ankle all the way down the back of your leg. Breathing in and out. What we do on one side, we must do to the other. So my opposite leg, taking both hands, reaching down as far as I can. Pulling on that leg with both hands. Breathing in and out. All right, boys and girls, couple stretches left here. What I want you to do is I want you to keep one leg straight, bend the other leg at the knee, and we're gonna take that leg that's bent and place it over the one that's straight. From here, all I want you to do is pull on that leg that's on top, breathing in through your nose, and out your mouth. All right, go ahead and let go of that leg. Bring it back onto its own side. The other leg that was straight, we're now going to bend it ever so slightly till the foot comes flat on the ground. That leg is gonna bounce or step over the opposite leg. And then we're gonna hug or pull that leg closer to our body. You should be feeling that stretch in the hip as well as the side of the leg. Breathing in and out. All right, go ahead and let go of that top leg. Bring your feet back apart from each other. Legs are straight. And boys and girls, we're gonna finish with some butterflies here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottoms of both feet and we're gonna touch them together and bring them close to our body. How do we do that? We're gonna start by bending the knees on both legs slowly till the bottom of your feet come together. And then we're gonna take our hands. So the bottom of the feet are together. We're gonna take our hands. We're gonna pull those feet closer to us. Now, as we hold those feet, you're gonna wiggle those knees up and down as if you had the wings of a butterfly. You'll feel that stretch from your knees all the way to your, your sides. Breathing in and out. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and let go of those feet. Spread those legs straight up in front of you. Uh, and we're going to now talk about our, our challenge for today, boys and girls. So I'm going to move my camera here. Make sure you're paying attention. I'm going to do my best to move my camera. You can see a little bit more of maybe Mr. Thule's office at home. All right, let me see. Got to move this down just a skosh. All right. So, boys and girls, what I have here at home is just a little bit of a whiteboard. Now, what you might be using at home is um, maybe a piece of paper, uh, maybe you're gonna do this on your seesaw and I will have this loaded in your seesaw with this video. 
Um, but boys and girls, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually draw yourself a basketball court. Now, the only color I have here at home is black, and I'm sorry, I wish I had more colors so I can make this more colorful. But really, I want you boys and girls to focus on the shapes that you see on a basketball court because each shape has a purpose or each line on a basketball court has a purpose. So I wanna start with the, the biggest shape that's on a basketball court. I'm gonna start with a rectangle. Now I'm gonna make this as big as I can. So this is, a, this is my paper or this is my dry erase board. I'm gonna make a big triangle that takes up as much of the space as we can. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make sure it's on the camera. All right, bring it all the way this way. A little bit bigger, and then all the way up. So boys and girls, I drew myself a ranked rectangle here. Now, the reason why I drew this is because in the game of basketball, there's a space that you're given. There's a space that you're supposed to play with. And we've talked about bouncing a ball, we've talked about passing a ball. If the ball or a player with the ball ever goes outside this rectangle, the play stops and, and the ball usually goes to the other team. So it's really important to know that the biggest shape on a basketball court, and this is usually drawn on the ground, um, the rectangle just means that's the space that you have to play on. Now, there's another space to keep in mind. There's a center line. So I'm gonna do my best to find the middle of this. That's close enough, I think. So there's a line that divides the rectangle into two halves. This is one team's half where they play defense. And this is the other team's half where they play defense. But the thing is, boys and girls, defense is when we were trying to stop people from scoring, all right? So let's just say this is the, uh, let's just call this the yellow team. And this is the blue team, all right? So the blue team might play defense over here, but they try to score over here. So when we're trying to throw our, our throw a piece of paper into our, bat, or our basketball hoops, our targets, whether it be garbage cans or laundry baskets, you know, the blue team would do that on the yellow team side. And the yellow team, we try to do that on the blue team side, all right? So it's really important to know that there's a line down the middle that, um, that you know, tells you which side is yours. And players can go on either side, but depending on which side you're on, just tells you what you're doing, all right? Let's move on to another shape. All right, I'm gonna do a little half circle here. I'm gonna go way around here. Do the same thing on this side. So I'm probably a little premature on this one, boys and girls. So I'm gonna draw another little circle. All right. These little circles right here, the little ones, those are your basketball hoops. So they don't take up a lot of space on the ground, but there is one on each half. So again, if the yellow team had the ball, they would try to get the ball in this hoop. The blue team had the ball, they try to get the ball in this loop. All right, now what I drew these big circles for is because this is what they call a three-point line. Any ball, any shot, um, any time that they throw it from this distance into the hoop, and that's a long distance, we're talking about 30 feet. We're talking about as big as your living room, twice the size of your bedroom. Um, you know, anytime there's a shot taken from out here and it goes in the basket, this is worth three points. So all this space right here is worth three points, all right? Anything in here is worth two points. All right, so that's, what's the, that's the significance. That's the reason why there's this big half circle. Now, boys and girls, we talked about defense last time. So if someone's shooting, so let's just say I had the ball like in our previous class and you're trying to keep me from scoring and you hit me or you push me or you pull me, um, they call that a foul. You know, you're not allowed to do that. So there's another line. And this will be one of the last ones I focus on, boys and girls. But there's another half circle and there's a little line in that half circle. All right, and they call this like a free throw line or a penalty line. All right, and that's what this line is all about. So if you ever push somebody 
pulled somebody, tackled them, all right? They get to stand right here and they get to shoot towards the hoop with nobody trying to guard them, all right? Because um, they deserve the right to, to shoot at that basket, you know, without being pushed, without being shoved, all right? So that's why there's some of these different lines on here, boys and girls, and that's kind of what I want you to do. So, you know, what I, what I would really hope for you boys and girls to do is to draw this shape, all right? Don't worry so much about what I wrote on here. Don't worry about the free throw line, like writing that down or writing the two points, all right? What I'd really like for you boys and girls to do at home is I'd like you to do your best to draw a basketball hoop, all right? Or to draw the basketball court. So these are the lines I want you to focus on and I want you to draw them for both sides, all right? So there's that side looks just like this side, all right? And there's even a little half circle in the middle, all right? So boys and girls, if you could draw What I want you to do is I just want you to at least draw the shape of this basketball court. I want you to start with that big rectangle. Then do the line down the middle. All right, do your basketball hoops. Do your three point lines. Do your free throw line. All right, and these little dashes just mean where players can stand while, while the free throw is taking place. All right, draw this. Um, draw it in whatever colors you want. If you're doing it on Seesaw, all right, I will have an image like this loaded up that you can trace in whatever colors you want. Um, don't choose black because it'll already be in black. Um, but boys and girls, I really just want you to get, your, get you familiarized. I want you to get used to looking at these shapes and knowing what they stand for. All right, boys and girls. So with that being said, that's your challenge today. So draw a basketball court at home. Uh, if you're doing it on a piece of paper, maybe take a picture of it, submit it in a seesaw. If you're doing it on Seesaw, just trace the image I have for you already. But boys and girls, you have your choices here in front of you um, on how you're going to do this assignment. And it's just going to help teach you a little more about, you know, the space that, that the game of basketball is played in. So um, thank you guys and girls so much. I hope you enjoy this challenge. Uh, and I will see you guys and girls next time. If you have any questions, please email me. Bye-bye.